Let's no CB the Incans. Hi everyone and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing our A to Z challenge, the challenge where I attempt to play every nation in 1444, that's unique enough of course, from A to Z. And today on our list we have the nation of Arawak. I'm going to be honest, I don't even know which nation that is. So let's look around the map and try and find it. It has to be one of these natives here, right? One of the new additions in Leviathan. Okay, it's not down here. I can't seem to find it over here. Is it up here perhaps? Is it disconnected from? Listen, I'm just gonna look for it. Arawak. There it is. Oh no. <laughs> oh. It's uh, it's a nation in South America apparently that's uh, not connected to any other nation. I don't even know if these guys got the mechanics that the natives in North America got in Leviathan. But uh, yeah, this is Arawak. Okay, we're Animist, Arawak Ideas, Land Force Limit, Land Maintenance, Infantry Cost, Infantry Combat Ability, Land Leader Shot. Okay, okay, these ideas aren't actually too bad. Wow, unique enough for me to play them, obviously. So yeah, this is the nation we're gonna be playing. Let's Let's jump right in and before we begin if you guys like this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out the channel a lot and if you really like it and want to see more A to Z videos consider subscribing I'm trying to hit 40k subs and maybe you can help me let's continue okay here we are as the nation of Arawak uh yeah safe to say we're a native disconnected from other countries and it's not gonna be a very easy start now forget about the start right what are we gonna do when colonizers start arriving that is the real question so my my goal for this campaign will be to defeat a colonizing nation. So once Spain or Portugal or England or France or whoever comes around, the goal for this campaign is to defeat them in a war. Not white peace, not lose, beat them in a war. Can we do it? I literally have no idea. Oh my god, we do have the native mechanics that the North Americans have. I literally have no idea what I'm doing. Don't tell anyone, but I haven't played any natives in Leviathan. <laughs> So yeah, let me see. Uh, no estates, okay. National decisions, vision quest, sure. Merchant, okay, where do we put him? Amazonias, oh, he's already there. Panama, can't reach it. Caribbean, can't see it. Brazil, oh boy, this is gonna be tough. So let's try and expand somehow. Hey, at least we have those uh, native <laughs> war canoe boats. Nice, we can build 12 of them actually. And uh, yeah, let's ramp up some force limit. Nice, nice. Okay, so I can't actually declare on anyone because I don't border anyone. How does this work though, native dev? Ah, we'll figure it out along the way. What, what, what is this? I feel like I'm a new player, but I know that we can migrate, so let's migrate to Orinoco Delta. Boom. Okay, there we are. Nice. And this is sort of our province too. Time to build a spy network on Carib. I forgot that we can't actually dev. <laughs> Add Orinoco Delta as tribal land. It'll cost 100 admin. Sure, let's do it. What's the worst that can happen? Wow. Maxed up the force limit, and we're still making money. Ooh wee, this is a rich nation. An amazing mission tree right here. <laughs> Actually, it's got a lot more than I thought. Right, right, the goal basically is to, uh, reform, right? So we can reform into a theocracy, a republic, a monarchy, and, uh, ew, become a horde. Why not? Okay, we got 20 spy network. Wait, hold up. How do I claim their province? Maybe from here? Fabricate claim. Natives cannot fabricate claims. Well, that's just amazing. Let's give our ruler military command and let's declare on these guys using the tribal border feud CB. Wonderful. Um, let's see what happens when I try to conquer it. Okay, so we sieged these guys down. Can I take the province from them. I think I should be able to, right? Let's see. And yeah, I sort of take it, but not really. It just becomes my tribal land. Uh, time to wait for the truce with these guys to run out, I guess? This is fun. Might as well drill while we're standing. Of course. Of course I don't have the required technology. This is gonna be uh, more painful than I thought. One advisor. Wonderful. All right, so the way I'm seeing this is we want to get as much monarch points as possible so we can get more tribal dev. We're going to try and build some of these buildings here and become the richest one province miner in the world. Of course, as we all know, the natives are already pretty good at doing that themselves. Imagine what a human player like me can do. Or wait, am I a bird? How do we know about the Renaissance, though? That's what I'm thinking. Travelers speak of a great rebirth of old ideas in faraway lands, but how? You know, I'm looking at these tier 1 reforms and uh, clan council seems to be the stupidest one. This one gives you like stab cost, eh. This one gives you like manpower, which is pretty good actually, but we actually want this, the chiefdom. Boom. So we can actually build some buildings now. Hmm, the cheaper ones, defensiveness, nah, manpower, nah. I actually want irrigation and uh, 
long house the most pretty much so let's build this huh we actually can take tech should we do it i mean literally what else am i gonna spend my points on now we have a cog cog yep yes the economy i'm sure we over here as arawak are concerned about the economy Hey, tier 2 government reform type. Of course, we want to maximize uh, tribal development and reform progress. So let's see right here. Infantry combat. That will be pretty good for our national ideas, but it's not something we really want. Oral tradition. Monthly reform progress growth. Now that's excellent. And land tradition at tribal land cons. Yeah, oral tradition for sure. Just look at this reform progress now. Look at this, guys. Five, six, eight, nine. Yeah, I like that. Yo, our shoes with carib is up excellent okay we can do a regular conquest and humiliate why do i have two humiliate cbs what do i use then huh i really have no idea okay let me raise maintenance and stuff and then we'll see i mean i guess i'm just gonna declare a regular conquest hmm they're also in a federation with these guys now i don't know how i'm gonna walk over there bruh i literally lost the war <laughs> These guys over here, they're tech 3 for some reason. Oh, look at these rich boys. But yeah, I just lost the war. Technically, I can't get full annexed. So I just moved from here to here now. I didn't really lose anything since I still have 12 dev. That's tribal dev, of course. So uh, I'm going to be exacting my revenge on Carib pretty soon. But yeah, that's a big fat L. <laughs> you know, it's pretty funny playing as these natives. I'll tell you that much. So if we move around all the time and keep making everything tribal land, when we reform, we get all those provinces, right? So I can just like keep moving around and making all of this stuff tribal land or something. Either way, finally, I can build that nice building, this uh, ceremonial fire pit at visor cost minus 50. That's pretty strong. And the monthly reform progress is pretty good too. New reform time, tier 3 this time. Okay, seasonal, travel, migration costs, tribal development. That's pretty good, actually. Settled down, institutional spread, but we get, oh, 200% tribal land cost. No, no, no. War band, more army stuff, but it's not really in our interest. We want to grow as fast as possible, so we gotta go with seasonal travel. Nice, we're getting more and more tribal land. I have no idea if this is the right way to play these guys or not. You're learning along with me. Hey, I guess there's a first time for everything, huh? All right, so what you guys need to know is this is what we really look like even though we actually really look like this <laughs> i have trapped carib in this province and now they can't migrate anywhere because everything around them is my tribal land of course they will be able to once our truce runs out but then i'll fight them and hopefully win this time oh was this ah Christo, uh, <laughs> what's up with that guy's name? Either way, we have uh, three Castilian heavies right here, and uh, these guys are here earlier, <laughs> way earlier than I thought they would be. Uh, I might want to move away from the coast. <laughs> Either way, let's declare on uh, these guys right here, huh? Travel border feud. No diplomats. That's fine, that's fine. Now I have diplomats. New government reform time almost finished up. Okay, diplomatic ceremonies, diplomatic relations, or... Yeah, I'll take the unrest. Ah, taking this from them. Excellent. <laughs> I should migrate, huh? That's what you're telling me? 81 devastation, okay, where do I go? Right here or right here? Hmm. Well, this is already mine, so let's move on down here. Nice. I wonder what all of these other guys are doing if they're not moving around so much like me. I mean, dude... This is what I look like. This is what they look like. Sad. I hope this is a fun video for you guys. That's all I'm gonna say. I just saw an English ship. I repeat, I just saw an English... Oh. Oh. Well, hello there. Now what? <laughs> Gaspar Machado from Portugal is here and uh, he's just walking through my lands apparently. Have Portugal landed though? I don't see any provinces in South America proper. Of course, we did see that they are in the Caribbean and this is about to finish up pretty soon. We don't even know about them, so I can't really improve with them or anything like that. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of scared. Well, Castile's here too. They have made a colony in Rio de Janeiro. Okay, things are ramping up pretty soon. Portuguese, they got another colony in Puerto Rico. Mm -mm. I wish someone would have told me that. I get way more travel dev if I, uh, what what's it called? Uh, graze in a province that someone else's tribal land why didn't i think of that oh england tribal land of arawak well it's been nice knowing you and there we go just about uh 50 years have passed since the start of the game and we can reform out of a native nation theocracy republic monarchy or horde of course the great plains call to us and now we're gonna own all of this boom boom 
boom boom nice i like the look of that okay are we a real country now is the question okay step nomads nice martial society wait i can take all of them yes i gain all of that back religious society or lip service of course religious society uh centralized power and uh barbaric despoilers of course that's everything we want to get wonderful what about tech though can we develop feudalism now okay england has feudalism obviously i'll sort of get it from them but uh now that i'm a real nation and all among all these other uh fake nations so to say of course the incans are real you're always real to me inca rest in pepperoni either way uh yeah let me take a look at what i need to do now hey i know about portugal now hmm who do i make friendly though oh oh so portugal allied to england and uh castile Oh wait, I can s uh, I can see a lot actually. Maybe because I'm a horde, I can see this. Uh, I just noticed that. Okay, who's looking like the weakest nation? Okay, I still can't click on Castile, unfortunately. So uh, that's an alliance I'm gonna have to face. So now I'm trying to spawn the feudalism right here or something. Then I guess I'm gonna clean some of these border guys up. Wonder if I can. Well, I can't actually fight England, right? Because I can't technically see them. Huh. Bro, colonialism spawned and I don't even have feudalism. At least I think I've got to get it pretty fast from whichever guy I border. From Europe, of course. Finally. Feudalism. No, I just need the renaissance and colonialism. <laughs> Okay, it's time to finally fight someone. Let's, uh, I think I can finally take out Carib right here. Can I co-belligerent someone? Hmm, sure. You know, things are a lot easier when you're a horde, that's all I'm gonna say. Can I full annex these guys? Yes, I can. Bye-bye. Ah, finally, raising. I love it. I love it. High dev provinces, too. I guess these guys just reformed. Excellent. Time to say bye-bye to these guys as well. More raising. And I can finally see England, too. They're allied to Tyrone, Death Martian, and Castile, and Portugal. Excellent. I can improve with them, and I think I will just until I get those institutions and stuff, and then I'm guessing they're the nation I'm gonna have to beat. I don't border anyone else. I might border Castile pretty soon, though. I just got an event to colonize this province. Nice. I'm gonna abandon it because it's costing too much money. <laughs> like I said, man, we got feudalism. Now I'm about to get renaissance pretty soon. After that, we're gonna get colonialism. And I think after that, we're gonna be ready to take these guys on. Vote in the comments below now. Will I win or will I fail? Finally, renaissance. Excellent. Uh, I do think I can take a few techs now, even though they are still pretty expensive. Uh, we can take new ideas. Now, what would be useful? Hmm. Let me think. Quantity? Hey, we're continuing our A to Z tradition of internal conflicts. Well, at least our tradition of a disaster. I don't know if we're gonna go bankrupt, though. I'll try and do it for you guys, I promise. What's up with these pretenders, by the way? They keep popping up. I have no idea why my horde unity is so low. Looting and raising? Yeah. I don't have anyone to fight. Who am I gonna loot and raise? Maybe it wasn't such a good idea, becoming a horde, huh? And we can get colonialism, I think. Let me just take out a couple of loans. And, uh, yeah. There we go. Wow. Amazing. What do we take for a second idea group? Hmm. I don't know. Trade? All right. Standing around as a horde, it isn't really doing me any good. So I'm gonna have to new CB some folks. Uh, let's uh, co-belligerent these guys. I have no diplomats to send. Yeah, yeah. All right. Waiting for this guy for two months to come back. Amazing. Either way, let's co-belligerent Quito right here. Not co-belligerent. Let's no CB the Incans. Let's hope this goes well, huh? <laughs> you know what I just realized? I probably, I'm probably not, uh, I'm probably not gonna be able to phalanx these guys. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to take anything, in fact, because uh, they're too far away. Yeah, sometimes the AI's genius, it generates gravity. <laughs> Look at these dudes. I keep getting beaten up in mountains. Gotcha, I think. Let's see, they're in mountains now, in my mountains. They are one tech ahead of me, the worst tech to be behind on, tech 6. <laughs> this is probably another L, let me see, uh, right, right, no, no good advisors. This is gonna be a loss, which I'm prepared to take, let's see boys. Amazing, let's leave. I waited patiently for my tech 6. Now these guys are about to see who's the real boss. Or not, you know, maybe, I, maybe I'm about to see who's the real boss. Uh, I didn't know they were in this province, is all I'm gonna say. Look, look, don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me. I know what you're gonna say. Stop. If I don't win this battle, I'll officially be the worst U4 player of all time. Please let me win. <laughs> Let's see, okay, okay, starting off. All right, all right, all right. They're losing morale, they're losing morale. 
Yes, of course. Because I won, of course, I am the best U4 player of all time. Someone help me. All right, this war is finally done. I'm making these dudes my vassal. There we go. Of course, I can't take any provinces from them, you guys know. But because they're my vassal, well, now we're about to do some real conquests. <laughs> all right, I'm co-belligeranting everyone. Oh, no, wait. I, I actually wanted to do this. Okay. Now we can do it. Boom. We're fighting these guys. Cusco, by the way, they're two Miltex ahead of me. <laughs> Let's hope uh, I won't have the same problems as earlier. You know, I almost forgot what it's like to fight real wars and uh, really take provinces uh, during this fun little campaign as Arawak. Bye bye, finally, man. Raising. Ah. You know, it's like I'm addicted to it. What can I say? I just love raising province. Nice. You know, slowly but surely, I am starting to catch up on tech. Pretty soon. Oh, British Columbia formed? Well, I, I think I can still drag in Britain somehow. We'll see. You know, man, I haven't played a new world nation in so long. I just forgot colonies are free real estate. Huh. It's so easy to fight them, man. So easy. They don't have any troops, no one defends them. Probably the easiest nations to fight, man, colonies. All those free provinces. Juicy, juicy. Of course, Britain is still gonna colonize, and I'm still gonna have an opportunity to declare on them. Ah, it seems that Great Britain has enforced peace on me. Is this the right time to fight them? Of course not. I'm Miltek 8, they're 12. Am I gonna accept white peace with British Columbia? Of course not. And now I'm fighting Great Britain. Uh, hmm, now what? Well, you know, I can do this. They're still colonizing this, right? Well, not anymore. Bye-bye. <laughs> Let's do it with that one too. Hopefully they don't land anywhere. Seize permanent ownership of this colony or native city for 25 mil. No. Let's remove uh, Darien right here as well. Bye-bye. The British are landing. I repeat, the British are landing. We gotta go and try and beat them up. All right, let's see how much better uh, tech 11, or wait, no. Uh, yeah, tech 12 is versus tech 8. I'm about to catch these 2k regiments right here. Hmm, oh, okay, they're just gone. <laughs> well, you know, this, is, uh, this isn't as hard, man. I don't know why I was so scared. Like, everyone always says fighting colonizers is hard. Oh, oh. Oh, another victory. Ooh, uh, where's that 20k stack? Ah, another 10k stack. Well, can I peace out? I can't even white piece. Right, the goal is to win, actually. Oh, I can't run away. Bruh. Oh, come on. Oh, no, don't catch me again. They're gonna catch me again, dude. All right, I'm gonna engage them now. 25 versus 15k. Oh. Oh, <gasps> I won. I am superior, let's go! All right, my brave and loyal subject, Quito, is engaging them in Antioquia, a mountain province. Why? Why? <laughs> I am gonna go help them out. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I think we can win this. Oh, so easy. So easy. Took an L. You know, I didn't expect to be in this war, uh, in this way. I expected to declare on them, you know, epic speech, epic style, you know what it is, but, uh, hey, we're in the war, man, uh, technically we're winning, we are about to go bankrupt. <laughs> I am gonna try and, I'm still gonna try and win this. Remember, boys, white peace isn't an option, it's either win or lose, all out. All right, another careful battle won, I had to walk around the 15k stack to beat, uh, this, whatever, it was like an 8k stack, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, man, these guys are starting to bring more and more troops over. Not going bankrupt yet, by the way. Let's see, um, I guess I'm gonna go fight these guys. Hmm. Ah, tradition fulfilled. It feels so good to go bankrupt. You know what doesn't feel good, though? Getting my grand company wiped out. Yeah. Am I really gonna lose to these guys, man? Please, I wanna run away. It just doesn't seem to be possible. Oh. 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 Still holding out. Still holding out. What I thought would be an epic battle versus Great Britain seems to have brought me epic shame. <laughs> and I just lost my entire army. Now what? Not all hope is lost, as we have reconsolidated in here. <laughs> I just can't win, man. I just can't win. I don't know what's wrong. Is it because I'm at tech 8 and they're at like, uh, let's see, let's see here. Ah, tech 12? Still at tech 12. Okay. All right, the end is nigh, my friends. They have occupied my entire Incan regions. They have occupied Quito. They've occupied this up here and pretty much the entirety of my nation. With the final 3,000 troops led by... Well, let's see, who's this guy? Amoratha. Okay, led by the king of Arawak or whatever he is. We will hold out 
in the province of Alcantara, while 20,000 British troops, 21 ships encroach us, even more 13k here, 1k here, 33k there, 5k here, while almost 100,000 British troops amass on our position. Will we survive? Probably not, but we can hope so. You have to believe, and boys and girls, let's see our final army fall to these guys. Pain. Actually, no, we're still alive. <laughs> I'm gonna be back. I actually lost to some uh, natives here. <laughs> These guys can't 100% me because, well, we have some separatists here, but I think this is done, boys. Alas, we have failed. Let's unconditionally surrender. Let's see what they take. Boom. They didn't take that much. In fact, they took very little. Ah, I don't have Quito, but... Still, I think this is the right time to call it an unsuccessful campaign. One of the most difficult nations that I've ever played as. And uh, I literally had no idea what I was doing in the early game, doing all the native reforms and stuff. But we didn't manage to succeed in our goal. At least until now, of course, time has run out. And if I reconsolidated and got up to tech, of course I could succeed in my goal. But I'm sorry to say that I have to pronounce this episode of A to Z as a failure. Very sad, but it is what it is. Oh, well, I think we had a success last time. So, you know, I can't have two successes in a row. Or can I? Well, I guess we'll have to see next time. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. And if you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the Red Hawk live and catch up on all the VODs on the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out the channel a lot. And if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Let's try and hit 40k subs, huh? Maybe you can help me out. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.